did you learn because i i certainly did i i watched everything and i would i would copy my swing from other people like whether i saw the way they move their knee or do you do a little of that too or i i, I you know i did a little bit because there were some other players that that were in savannah that were a few years older than me and i think i copied them more than anything uh, just watching them but i was always like a feedback guy i'm like all right if i do this what does it do what does it do if i do this what does it do and i got to the point where i, I when i was a kid i practiced so much that i knew what the ball was going to do and i knew what it was going to do when i was nervous and i think as I've gotten older, there's just more That's and more two different guys. games. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's, the, it's the game you play with me today, and then it's the one yeah. in the last round of the U.S. Open, right? That's there's correct. two different. Yeah, and there's no recreating. That's why they say you know it's a process. You have to get you have to get in contention, you know, and fail before you start. Yeah, and, and it's it's mostly true. It's, I think it, I texted you when you walked off the U.S. Open. I never, I remembered how uh, disappointed you were. How how. I mean, you almost couldn't play the last hole because you were just yeah, just defeated, burnout, right? Defeated, yeah. And I think I wrote something like, "You led the U.S. Open, man, for like 65 holes." I mean, it probably didn't land on you then, but now it probably is better. Thinking that. Yeah, I mean, it was certainly a learning experience, but it it stung. I mean, it hurt oh, yeah. because, as much as I know, it's a learning experience, and it only is going to make me better. At the same time, it was a chance. Yeah. Exactly. It, it was it was a chance to win the U.S. Open, and I didn't get it done. Right. You got run over by a guy that was on a mission that day, but mm -hmm. 